Hi, uh, my name is Eliza Wheeler and I work for the Harm Reduction Coalition in our California office. Um, I work on a project that runs in San Francisco, California called the DOPE Project, which stands for Drug Overdose Prevention and Education Project. And we are funded by the San Francisco Department of Public Health uh, to distribute naloxone to drug users and their uh, friends, family, community members in San Francisco uh, to prevent overdose deaths. So our program has been uh, prescribing naloxone uh, through um, a standing order uh, from our medical director, Mr. Josh Bamberger, who works for the health department in San Francisco. And what that means is that uh, Dr. Bamberger signs a standing order, which is a document that allows uh, trainers that work for the DOE project to distribute naloxone under his name. Uh, and so we provide all of the trainings with people who use drugs in our different sites. And um, our staff is made up of people who have connections to the community, former drug users, current drug users, um, people who have been affected by overdose. So we consider our group of trainers to be the best people to deliver that service um, and to be able to engage people who use drugs in the conversation around overdose prevention. And we are able to distribute drug naloxone and teach them how to use it uh, and issue uh, prescriptions to them under our standing order. So we've trained since 2003 about 4,000 people in San Francisco and had about 1,000 reported overdose reversals, uh, which means uh, people who we've trained and given naloxone who have used their naloxone to, uh, to revive someone from an overdose successfully. Uh, those are, reversals have been done almost 100% at the hands of people who use drugs. Um, so, you know, as, as you're seeing the expansion of naloxone distribution in the United States, um, we're starting to see a little bit of a, a, a wandering from the original purpose of naloxone distribution, which is to get naloxone into the hands of the people who use drugs, who are the most likely people to witness and be present for an overdose situation and who are the most qualified to uh, be the ones to, to revive their friends. So, um, so we want to stick to that original mission. Those are the people who see overdoses and who save lives. So, uh, so that's what we do. Um, I also, as a, a part of the Harm Reduction Coalition, which is a national advocacy organization, get a lot of great opportunities to work with programs all throughout the United States uh, who are currently doing naloxone distribution or interested in doing naloxone distribution uh, and provide some uh, support and resources and technical assistance uh, and also be able to connect those people who are interested in doing naloxone to others in the country who have developed wonderful programs and have a lot of great expertise. So that's sort of another part of my work.